سنبدا جلستنا بكلمه من روني شطح وهو يعني ما فينا ما نقول انه ابن شهيد احد اصحاب الفكر المتقد في لبنان الشهيد محمد شطح الذي دفع حياته ثمنا لرايه الحر ولمبادراته الجريئه والذي كان يسعى الى ان يفتح حوارا من اجل ازاله الاحتلال الايراني عن لبنان و جمع سلاح الميليشيات تحت مظلة الدولة روني شطح طبعا هو ابن الشهيد ولكن هو بذاته شخص عنده بودكاست بتصور انه اسمه بنيان بيروت يلي الكل صاروا بيعرفوه واللي ايضا بروج من خلال البودكاست تبعه ل افكار نيره ولمجموعه من اصحاب الفكر الحر روني بده يلقي كلمه تحيه للشهيد لؤمان سليم ما بعرف اذا بده يحكيها بالعربي ولا بالانجليزي اتس اب تو يو روني سو اي ثينك لو بالعربي يو وود اول رن اواي سو ها احكي بالانجليزي اند I'll try to keep my emotions intact. Can everyone hear me? So when I was asked to think about a few minutes to reflect on Lukman, I couldn't think. Instead, I got my paper and pen and I wrote down something. I hope it resonates. I saw Lukman in his tent and I watched him like many of us did. on television screens and across news outlets right after the port blast his unequivocal tone against the group he accused of indirect involvement in storing ammonium nitrate right in our port meant he was going down a road with no return into the eye of the storm he crossed a security line that hasbullah never tolerates and challenged their position as the undisputed substate actor determined and defiant until he died with bullets to his head in an area monitored by unifil convoys my own father was murdered in a car bombing near starko less than a minute from his office next to the sarai the most monitored part of the country with layers of security at every corner and all of that protection could do nothing to confront the last militia in post civil war lebanon a proxy that shields itself through local panderers and funds its arsenal through a regional sponsor held bent on maintaining permanent battlefields and here we are living in their preferred hurricane while staying dry from nature's friendlier rain It is not the victim's responsibility to seek investigation and inquiry, let alone interrogation and conviction. That is the role of the state, not lawyers knowing laws meant to hold our system to account, nor politicians with limited to no agency. Whether in parliament by day or sleeping there tonight, the configuration we all depend on to live a reasonable life without fear of losing loved ones to violence is hijacked guaranteeing repeated assassinations turn into commemorations rather than criminals behind bars a sovereignty we lost in 1970 and could not recover under Syrian occupation turning us into a nation held hostage with the last militia in this country preserving an ever paralyzing status quo guaranteeing collapse lukman's family my family along with lebanon's long list of victims cannot deliver justice it is not our task 
Grief and mourning is a private affair, but judicial authority and autonomy is the state's domain. And whenever the politics of this place is discussed, in every conversation among pundits, in every panel among think tank experts and academics, in every outlet where local and foreign press look for stories to sell for sound bites, in every single moment this country's failings are examined, we must emphasize our lost independence and challenge the group that ensured its end. That assertion should extend to diplomats. The last time I checked, not one ambassador mentioned Hezbollah on Friday. A particular special coordinator recently tweeted her gratitude for their tour de horizon, better fit for hallucination. And why am I taking the story here? Because there are no peaceful domestic answers to Iran's proxy army. From protesters on the street demanding change for 17 years, to reform-minded individuals that entered the halls of power. Elections do not ease this existential problem and neither will changing the system from sectarian to secular. Partition will, however, and that never happens smoothly. That happens through war, yielding bloodshed and anarchy, and the cantons that reemerge will resemble those of the 1980s. Yes, civil war will destroy Hezbollah. It will destroy us. It will destroy Lebanon. And we are not a state born in error we should remember that. Despite all of the shortcomings of power sharing through consensus and consociationalism through compromise, we were born cosmopolitan. And that's not a Christian characteristic, that's Lebanese, in its mosaic and across its geography, from north to south, like Beit Shatah and Beit Slim. We are not inconceived deserving of abortion. We are a battered state. And reform is essential, not overnight overhaul that ignores the collateral political violence brought to this country. But again, the answer to ending our violent nightmare is unfortunately beyond our borders. This storm avoids customs while hovering to the east. Lebanon's collapse overlaps with Iran's security needs. Restoring openness and trust outwardness and pride requires us to return to the Gishans that gave us cherished neutrality. Diplomacy against regional winds that later blew the roof off of this very fragile house of many mansions. 1959 to 1969, a bygone decade of glory and fame. And before tragedy, there was prosperity and a critical moment when we withered immense geopolitical pain. Not one shot fired across our southern border in June 1967. And a meeting with Gamal Abdel Nasser a few years earlier that we kept to the eastern border. In a tent like this one, literally on the border. I believe it was a cold and rainy day like today. And we were spared those winds and we did so ourselves. But we had the tools necessary then Proactive diplomacy, locked today under Hezbollah's command. In parallel to Lukman's cherished work in collective memory, history moves slowly. His family, like victims before, will have to wait for justice to rise. The Iranian regime is not evolving or changing for the better. Less a theocratic order today and more a military dictatorship with external proxies that preserve its survivability through regional pain. But the Iranian people have had enough, like us. It is happening on their streets and in their minds. And one day, hopefully in our lifetime, we will wake up to their Gorbachev moment, an era of shifting course, not Khatami or Rouhani or facade-like presidential authority, but an Islamic Revolutionary Guards commander with a preference for disengagement over dis disorder and constant war. Only then would these darker clouds part ways, with reformists shining in Beirut and taking charge. 
in sharp contrast to commemorations of grief and despair. Lukman's words are etched in permanence, like Gibran Twaini and Samir Asir. Inspiration, a nation's fight against the storm through an eloquent pen and daring voice. Their independent, their independent minds are with us here. Our independence remains the battle, and we must persevere. Thank you, Monica. Thank you, everyone. Shukran. Thank you, Roni. Thank you. Sahih. Lo'man Islim ma met bihad al-sayyara. Fi fa'il. Wa fa'il arif halu tamaman limaza tamma khtiyal lo'man Islim. Wa tamma khtiyal ghair lo'man Islim. Nihna ala ba'd amtar. Min shahid hay ala jarimi موصوفي بارح كان في عنا جلسة عم تحكي عن التحقيق كل الشواهد تؤشر إلى المسؤولية المباشرة ولكنها تعبر عن المستوى الذي وصل إليه انهيار هذه الدولة